Hi guys, this is the Laroy Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the photo editor. I know this is a special uh, package which uh, is based on requests from my subscribers. They keep on asking when will I create a photo editor application in Android. And this is one for them. I actually did this for them. And there's a full-blown photo editor where we can get hold of um, the crop uh, we can actually resize our, a, a photo, we can snap and also call pictures from the gallery. Uh, we can tone and uh, do some other funky things with the image. So I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I'll be explaining the source files in details on how to code an application which is going to actually take a full functionality of a photo editor. Okay, in my Gradle scripts, I want you to look at this vividly. I have uh, three build scripts, the project for the uh, project session and also the model, you know, for a customized layout example and also the model for the app itself. Right for the app, I want you to look at the class part. I have the Android Tools Build Gradle 2.1.0. And also, I have the Mutual Mobile Gradle plugins. This is the Dex Info 0.1.2. This last part is very important. I apply the plugin, the Com Android application, and also apply the plugin called Com Mutual Mobile Gradle plugins Dex Info. That's not all. I have some dependencies that are very important in the course of the compilation of this application. I have the Net Oki app. This is the Oki SDK 3.7.0. This SDK is very important. I have the GMS Play Service, the Google Analytics 8.3.0. And also, I have the ly.img Android Photo Editor SDK. This SDK is the photo editor. You know, these are compiles are very, very important in the course of the application. Okay, let's get to look at the Gradle model. We, are, we just have the same. And we are for the project session where we have our class part build Gradle 2.1.0. Okay, I will be moving straight to the rest. We'll be looking at the layout. The activity underscore main XML, which is the UI of the application. This is a relative layout with the layout width and height match parent. The pattern left, right, top, and bottom are all 16 dps. While the, tech, the tools context is calling the main activity of this application. We have the text view, which is the hello world. All right, that's fine. Let's get to look at the values. We have the strings. Uh, where we're going to be talking about the app name and also uh, the strings where we have the app name which is the image editor okay uh, we'll be going straight to our java classes we only have two java classes the application and the main activity let's get to look at the main activity okay we imported the media scanner connection the OS bundle from the Android library, the camera preview activity and the camera preview intent, the photo editor intent and the permission requests. The main activity extends activity and implements permission requests, where we created two fields, private and public static, for the folder and also for the camera preview result, which is instantiated to one. Our own create method where we have the new camera preview invent intent rather. In this uh, instantiation, we set the export directory to the camera preview invent intent and also the export prefix, which is image. We set the editor intent by instantiating the editor intent with a new keyword or by setting its export directory. And prefix we start the activity for result passing the camera preview result. Okay, we have our own activity result 
where we have the request code, the result code, and the Android intent data. We call on the super class, and we have an, an if statement that check on the result code if the result code is result OK and camera preview results. That is if the result code is either result OK and also the camera preview results. Okay, we have a string part where we get the string extra calling the camera preview activity based on its result image part. A toast comes up that the image is being saved. Okay, that's when you eventually save the particular image gotten either from the gallery or from the camera. Okay. We have the on request permission result. Okay, and also the permission granted and the permission denied, where we have to exit uh, the application. Let's get to look at the application Java class. We imported the LY img android image ly sdk this sdk is the gimmick of this uh photo editor without the sdk the photo editor won't be in play the application extends the android app application where we have the uncreate calling the super uncreate and the image ly sdk in it passing this particular method or this particular class okay that takes us to our manifest let's look at how the manifest is being structured we have some permissions to access network state and to access the internet we have the protected broadcast whereby the media is being mounted okay we have the activity, which is the launcher activity, which is the default launcher, the main activity. We have an intent filter that specifies the launcher activity. We close up the application and close up the manifest. You'll be surprised that this uh, source file is so short, but the full functionality of a photo editor is right embedded into it which is gotten from the photo SDK, the LY photo SDK. All right, I actually tested this on a real device because my emulator doesn't have uh, a camera, you know, incorporated in it. So I have to try to test it in a real device where I'll be showing you the screenshots of the application. Can you believe that this application has been launched and got we got something of this nature where we have to snap i actually snap my desktop you know and we have the functionality of cropping changing orientation we can filter up and we can adjust the picture okay let's move on to some other stuff i got to click on crop where I wanted to crop the VDA that's a monitor all right after cropping I got it cropped I can also flip to left all right that is the orientation after finishing do you really want to discard the image you either say yes or no if you say yes being discarded deletes automatically but if you say no it's going to save the copy of the edited image on the media file all right i also have some other screenshots where i still play around the application because it's uh quite embedded i have the brightness the contrast and the saturation is our right in stock in the photo SDK you can decide to bright up you can decide to come to increase or reduce the contrast and you can decide to expand or decrease the saturation okay I try to play around with the brightness you know by increasing it a little bit and also the contrast 
by trying to decrease it. I, I move on to the crop where I'm trying to crop the application. I crop the image in particular, which is our the video, the monitor, the crop image, and the image is saved to the SD card. This is a full-blown photo editor. I'll be uploading the source files to my GitHub account. I want you to pick it up and utilize it in your application. It is full-blown and perfectly working. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.